hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is selena marie and today we are doing a pick a card video on how the people from your past view you now okay so i want you guys to select one of these three groups this is group one with the ametrine group two with the aura selenite group three with the spirit cords okay pause this video if you need to for you guys um to select the pile that is calling to you the most and i will see you in your reading bye beautiful souls welcome back to my channel my name is selena marie and today we are going to see how the people from your past currently view you as of right now so i am going to pull 10 or more tarot cards depending if i need to clarify any of the cards and then at the end we are going in with oracles okay um so yeah make sure you guys like this video for the energy exchange subscribe click that bell notification to get notified every time i upload a new youtube video okay spirit guides angels ancestors and ascended masters can you please um connect me to the people that selected pile number one with this beautiful ametrine um how does the people from their past currently view them now spirit guides angels ancestors and ascended masters how does this, how does the people from their past currently view them now spirit how does the people from their past currently view them now how does the people from their past currently view them now okay all right spirit how does the people from their from pile number one's past currently view them now how does the people from pile number one's past currently view them now can I get the most accurate messages? How does the people from pile number one on YouTube feel about them right now? How does how do they view them, my bad? How do the people from pile number one currently view view them as of right now? They feel like you um, stepped into your power. Wow. How does the people from pile number one's past currently view them now? How does the people from pile number one's past currently view them now? the people from pile number one's past we have knight of swords okay so i would need a few moments of silence so i could channel the most accurate messages from spirit so please um give me a moment okay thank you for your patience Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys, this is an ex. This could be a friend from the past also. But they're intimidated to come towards you. They see that you glowed up. And they see that you have stepped into your power. Some of you guys lately couldn't get in, um, your hair done or maybe you have like a lace wig. I'm seeing a lace wig. I'm seeing you guys took real nice selfies or you guys could have got locks in your hair, braids. 
some of you guys are planning to go on a trip but they're seeing you like that doesn't have to resonate but they're seeing you like you really glowed up and they're seeing you like you stepped into your power okay and let me tell you guys something this person is still where you left them they haven't changed at all they have not changed at all and they are watching everything that has unfolded in your life and they can't believe it or maybe this is still happening in the process and i see them being in disbelief because wow pal number one you're done like you're in this energy or you're about to be in this energy like walking away and it's like what I'm seeing with especially with the full card right here I just see you guys acting as if they don't even exist like they think like does this per did this person forget about me like this is how they're feeling Wow, okay, so with the Emperor and the Empress, guys, if you're single, either you just got into a new relationship or you're about to get into a new relationship. I'm seeing new love coming towards you. And with the Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups, I'm seeing this person trying to reach out. To you i see this person if they haven't already if they have then this is past energy but if they haven't either this person's gonna try to reach out to you or it's an energy like they want you back but i see with the four of cups you're not open to it you're not open to it is what spirit is showing me right here wow because with the Empress, you guys are in your power right now, power number one. Like, they're very intimidated by you. Like, they feel like you bossed up. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Spirit, strength, wow. It took you a while to get here. I feel like your self-esteem is improving or your self-esteem has already improved. And with the devil and the nine of wands and the strength, it's like I feel like you guys were very unaware how toxic this connection was and how controlling and manipulative this person was. Because they're coming off very, like, immature and emotionally unavailable. I just heard the name Andrew. I don't know if that resonates or someone's name starts with an A. Alex, Angel, Anthony, Alexandria, Anna, Alcantar. Doesn't have to resonate, but Greg, George, Michael. All right, so strength, the devil, nine of wands. You are so unaware how toxic this person is. Like, because they gaslit you. They blamed you for everything. And now they see you like they can't come towards you. Because with the strength card, you boss the hell up. And now it's just like, 
you see what this person's about you know what this person's about and you're just like nah nah like i ain't gonna let this person back into my life this person i feel like is kind of a narcissist or they they just they were just very toxic to you how does this person view pile number one how do the people from their past view pile number one So I am seeing that this is a baby father for a lot of you guys, and I see um, this doesn't this is not going to resonate with everybody, but I see either you're already getting child support from this person, or you're about to with the Ten of Cups right here in the Page of Wands. Why is the Nine of Swords here for pile number one? Oh wow. You guys are about to get into a new relationship and this person is gonna see it this person is going to see it and they're gonna be petty oh, wow there's new love coming towards you judgment ace of swords five of swords i feel like this person's holding a grudge towards you but this person's coming off very like petty because they thought that they were going to do better than you. They thought that the grass was going to be greener on the other side. And it's not. Mm -mm. We have Nine of Pentacles. Spirit King clarify the Nine of Pentacles is here. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? You guys stepped into like this energy of like self-love, you know? We have Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. For some of you guys, I see this person reaching out to you in December. I'm seeing December, December 10th. I'm seeing December. That doesn't have to resonate. That's only for a select few of you. For most of you guys, I see this person staying away because if you're already in a new relationship, this person's just like, why am I even going to approach them? And this person's very intimidated by you. Wow. Okay. So we're going to go in with some oracles. Spirit, how does the people from pile number one's past view them now? How does the people from pile number one's past view them now? How does the people we have love call? How does the people from pile number one's past view them now? more how does the people from pound number one's past view them now all right i'm telling you guys you guys are getting into a new relationship or you guys are gonna meet new friends but i feel like this is a love situation and i'm seeing that this person is going to be so regretful because you're going to find somebody new and it's going to be a huge 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 slap in the face to this person oh my gosh this person's gonna feel petty like they're gonna feel stabbed in the back wow yeah and I feel like you've been healing. You've been healing your inner child. You when um, for some of you guys, this triggered a spiritual awakening, and you've been doing shadow work, inner child healing work. I 
feel like you were with this person for a very long time. I'm seeing more than a year, three years, seven years, eight years, possibly 15 years. For some of you guys, you could have been with this person for like eight months to a year, or six months, but this person is in deep regret. They're also paranoid that there might be somebody else if you're not in a relationship already. But yeah, that's all I got for you, pile number one. If you would like a personal reading from me, um, use my code Selena, C-E-L-I-N-A, to get $20 to $40 off your reading. Um, this promo code ends on December 20th, and I am almost sold out for the week. So if I was you and you want a personal reading, I would get one ASAP. Um... And then after December 20th, I'm taking three weeks off on personal readings because your girl needs a break and it's going to be my birthday month in December. I'm a Capricorn. So yeah, um, make sure you like this video, subscribe and yeah, thank you guys for watching until the next video. Bye. For the beautiful souls that selected pilot number two with this beautiful aura selenite, welcome to your reading. We're going to see um, how the people from your past currently view you and whatever else spirit would like to say. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and ascendant masters, can you please connect me to the people that selected pile number two? Can you please connect me to the beautiful souls that selected pile number two? Um, with the aura sound, I already said that. <laughs> um, trying not to stain my dust with the floor water. Okay, make sure you like this video for the energy exchange. Subscribe, click that bell notification to get notified every time I upload a new YouTube video. Okay, Spirit, can you please connect me to the people that selected pile number two with this aura selenite? Thank you so much. Can you please connect me to the people that have selected pile number two with the aura selenite? Can you connect me to their energy, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and ascended masters? Can you please connect me to the people that selected pile number two? Spirit, can you please connect me to the people that selected pile number two spirit how does the people from their past currently view them as of right now the people that selected pile number two how does the people from pile number two's past currently view them oh we have five of pentacles how does the people from pile number two's past currently view them as of right now how does the people from pile number two's past currently view them as of right now? Sphere, how does the people from pile number two's past currently view them? We have the full. The people that selected pile number two on YouTube connect me to their, to their energy sphere. How does the people from their past? <laughs> we have Page of Swords. Two of Pentacles. How do the people from Pile Number Two's past currently view them as of right now? How does the people from Pile Number Two's past? We have Knight of Swords. They're watching you. Hold on. How does the people from Pile Number Two's past? We have King of Pentacles. How does the people from Pile Number Two's past currently view them? Eight of Pentacles. Three more spirit. How does people from Pile Number Two's past currently view them? How does the people from Pile Number Two's past currently view them? As of right now. How does the people from Pile Number Two's past currently view them? We have Seven of Swords. Two more. How does the people from pile number two's past? 
the moon. How does the people from pile number two's past currently view them? Affirmate. Back of the deck, King of Swords. Okay. So I'm going to need a few moments of silence so I could channel the most accurate messages um, from Spirit. So please be a little patient with me. Thank you so much, you guys. All right. How does the people from their past currently view them as of right now for the people that selected pile number two? Thank you so much. I feel like some of these people from your past or a specific person or whatnot is looking for work. But they're having a hard time finding work. I'm seeing someone living in a very dirty home. Listen, pile number one, I mean, pile number two, if this is you, I don't judge you. This could be your person. Like, I'm just seeing, like, a lot of clutter. I'm seeing, like, a lot of, like, pets. I feel like this person indulges in fast food. Yeah, I feel like this person is watching you online or either they're asking about you, but they're watching you. They feel a lot of these people struggle with money. Either some of these people steal okay i'm not if it doesn't sound like someone from your past then disregard that but like some of these people from your past steal or there's a specific person whoever this is you were you you're the only person who would know who this is but i'm just seeing someone stealing remember this is a general reading so not every even though this is a pick a card not everything i say may resonate there might be another message that's mainly for somebody else. Seeing somebody stealing. What? I feel like this person lied on their job application. But they're seeing you like, like you got money. They're seeing you like you're financially stable and like you got money. And honestly, they wish that they were back in your life because they want some of that money. As I scratch my head right now, I feel like this person is just like confused. Like how did this person get that job or how did this person make um their own online business and how is it getting so many people or how did this person go viral and now they have all these followers or how did this person um have this youtube channel or how you know etc cetera, etc cetera. they see you like you got money and they're trying to like with the two of pentacles right here they're trying to figure out like how they could become financially stable like you are it's like they're studying you, like they're looking you up. And it's almost for some of you guys, especially if this is a friend from the past. Remember, not everything I say may resonate for you, but most of the things I say will resonate for you. If nothing I say does not resonate, then this just isn't your pile. But for some of you guys, this is a friend that... 
you were friends with and i feel like this person is trying to be like you like they're studying you and it's like they see how stable you are how financially stable you are they see how excuse me it's like they see how it's like you have your own personality like they like the way you dress they like the way you wear your hair it's like they kind of want to be you and some of you guys some of you guys are going to be like well i'm flattered but this person it's like it's like they come from poverty or like they really come from nothing and i feel like this person struggles with their identity and they want to be you and they study you a lot to see um what you're posting what you're wearing where you're working at uh, you know, and they're trying to be like you. If you post videos on TikTok, YouTube, or Twitter, or, you know, whatever. I feel like they're gonna, they'll go as far as trying to do the same thing as you. But, like, in a way to try to outdo you or to be you. Because, like... This person's weird, you guys. This person, they're not weird. It's like they lack confidence, self-esteem. Mm. We have the Seven of Swords, the Moon, and the Hermit. Why is the Seven of Swords, the Moon, and the Hermit here for how the people from their past view them? How does, why is the Seven of Swords, the Moon, and the Hermit here in this spread? One more. Why is the Seven of Swords, the Moon, and the Hermit here? Eight of Swords. I feel like this person's mentally ill. I feel like this person, okay. I'm getting a weird ass vibe like I need to cleanse after this because this is weird like oh my gosh this person's mentally ill like I feel like this person's like infatuated with you or like they're they have this weird obsession with you or they're like they're constantly like always thinking about you or it's like something along those lines like that. But with the Queen of Swords, it's like you're coming up as if you don't want nothing to do with them like or they feel like. You guys one day are going to become friends again or something like that. And it's like with the Queen of Swords, I feel like you find this person really annoying. Like, you don't want nothing to do with this person. Who is this? I want you guys to comment down below who this is because they're coming off very weird. Like, I shouldn't say that because they, I feel like they're mentally sick. I do see that. With the sun, the ace, of, the ace of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. I feel like you guys have a very bright personality. You guys dress well. And you guys have a lot of things going for yourself. And you guys are very high vibrational, positive people. And it's like, they're trying to present themselves like that. A lot of these people are mentally disturbed. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. 
Can I get three more? Lash shuffle, three more. That's the people from their past currently view them. How does the people from their pal number two's past currently view them? One more. Death card. You guys don't want nothing to do with this person. Like, who is this? For some of you guys, I'm seeing that this is a childhood friend that you grew up with and you like saw who they really were and you cut them off or you knew this person for years or a long time. Or I just feel like this person is just... They're kind of obsessed with you, file number two. And they see you like you glowed up and like you're minding your own business and they see that you got money. And this person really struggles with money. Okay, this person really struggles with money. I feel like they're always asking people for money or they're always trying to guilt trip other people into giving them money. I feel like this person could smoke cigarettes um, or they they eat a lot out this person indulges in drinking I'm sure some of them are smoking weed but it's like you you're done like you don't want nothing to do with this person but this person feels like they still got a chance with you or they think that one day you guys are gonna talk or something like that like they you view this connection as is done is over with with the duff card right here they're in denial about all this like and at the same time they're trying to do what you're doing and i guess in a way they kind of look up to you but it's like they're not coming off jealous or like envious they're coming off like they don't have a good sense of identity and they're unstable you know spirit how does the people from pile number two's past currently view them how does the people we have honesty how does the people from pile number two's past currently view them? We have forgiveness. How does the people from pile number two's past currently? We have friendship. Yeah, this is a friend. One more. Guilt. Worry, all right. This person deals a lot of issues i feel like this person this person wants your forgiveness and this person this person is very immature i feel like this person is very childish and it's like an energy like this person wants to reconcile things with you but like their mind is very young and they're the type of person that i see that they'll still be in this victim ass mentality like let's say you call them out on something they'll make an excuse for it i'll be like that my childhood like this was like that or i don't got money or this and they'll try to make you feel bad and honestly spirit is saying just to leave this person alone look at that <laughs> as i pick up the deck we have denial and patience. What? <laughs> Didn't I say this person was in denial? This person feels like eventually one day you're going to come back around or one day you guys are going to speak again. And, you know, this is a friend for a lot of you guys. This could be an ex also. But for most of you guys, this is someone that you were friends with or this could be a family member or coworker. I feel like for most of you guys, this is something platonic. And this person is like, thinks like one day 
if you're gonna come back around but like I feel like you don't have patience to put up with this person because this person is very ignorant and it's like almost as if they lack I, uh, a sense of identity and they want to become you they want to be you they want to do what you're doing and this I, I honestly problem number two this person needs to grow up like i don't know like i just feel like this person did something or they said something that pissed you off or you were just done and you gave this person so many chances and you were just done and honestly this person needs to grow up Okay, I'm sorry because I do see that this person is a little mentally sick, but they're doing too much, pile number two. Like, I do feel a little bad for them, and I do feel like they need help, but this person needs to grow up, okay? Um, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I found, uh, Spirit guys, I send this person good energy energy to heal their inner child or whatever because i feel like they have a very wounded inner child and they need help okay if you guys would like a personal reading from me um use my code selena c-e-l-i-n-a at checkout um when you add your personal reading onto your cart i also offer spell work if you guys are interested um my website is divinefeminine777.com. It is in my description. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, blue.dream333. Follow me on TikTok, blue.dream333. Follow me on Twitter, bluedream444. I might change my Twitter. I don't know. But... Yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Until the next video. Bye. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena Marie. I think I said that in the intro. I don't know why I'm saying it again. I didn't even say that in the last two piles. But um, yeah, maybe some of you guys didn't watch my intro. Why didn't you watch my intro, bro? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so if you put it this beautiful spirit quartz welcome to your reading we're going to see hold on my phone is noticing it's notifying me the battery percentage but we're going to see how the person um from your past currently views you oops this is cleansing spray okay Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and ascendant masters, can you please connect me to the people that have selected pile number three with this beautiful spirit cords? Spirit, how does the people from their past currently view them? Let me put some Florida water on. Just taking a bath in Florida water. All right. Spirit, how does the people from pile number three's pass on YouTube? The people that selected pile number three on YouTube, can you please welcome their energy in here? How does the people from pile number three's pass currently view them as of today? how does the people from pile number three's past currently view them how does the people from pile number three's past on youtube currently view them Ooh, we have eight of cups that jumped out of the deck how does the people from pile number three's past currently we have Queen of Pentacles. How does the people from pile number three's pass currently view them? How does the people from pile number three's pass 
We have Page of Pentacles. I'm not taking the four ones. If it's meant to come out, it'll come out again. How does the people from pile number three's past currently view them? We have nine of wands. How does the people... How does the people from pile number three's past currently... We have six of cups. How do the people from pile number three's past currently view them? We have the hair font. Five of cups. How does the people from pile number three's past currently view them? We have the star in reverse. Does the people from pawn number three's pass? And we have seven of swords. Nine of cups, all right. Clarify eight of cups. I damn. All right. I don't know why I I didn't say zodiacs in the last reading, but spirit is telling me to say zodiacs, so I'm seeing Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, and Aries. All right. So give me a moment for I could channel. Wow. This person's really sad. Did you break up with this person or... I'm getting, for most of you guys, this is an ex. This is someone that you were in a relationship with. Some of you guys, you were just messing around with this person. Or maybe you guys were sleeping with each other. Or maybe it was, it was like a friends with benefits type of thing. But for a lot of you guys, this is an ex. And for a select few of you, this could be a friend. But I feel like you walked away from this connection. And this person is very sad. This person misses you. And they're very sad. They are like yearning for you. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So they feel like you're very guarded. They see you very guarded. They see you like you stepped into your power. And they feel like it's like they're too weak to approach you. Like you intimidate them. And they see you like you're very guarded and to yourself. And this person is heartbroken over you. This person is very sad over you. This person misses you. Okay? As I said that, I just got chills on my legs. We have Page of Pentacles. So you guys could have a kid with this person. Doesn't have to resonate. I feel like this person was not putting enough effort in the connection. Seven of Swords, this person could have lied to you a lot or this person was very manipulative or deceitful. But I do feel that this person does have feelings for you still. And they are sad. They miss you. They're depressed. And they are very nostalgic over you. With the Six of Cups right here. They're very nostalgic over you. 
but they're very guarded at the same time. They're guarded also because they don't want to feel stupid. Like, they want to... How do I say this? They want to come towards you and they want to talk to you. But they don't want to do it if you're going to reject them, if you're going to tell them off. So they're very, you guys are guarded towards each other. You're guarded because this person possibly could have put you through a lot or maybe this person cheated on you or lied to you or maybe this person was taking advantage of you or whatever the case may be. You're on the defense. You're just like, let this person try to come back and tell me some BS and watch how I'm going to snap on their ass. Like, that's what I'm seeing from you. From them, they're scared. They're guarded because they're scared to come towards you because they feel like you're going to go off on them. And they know you so well, portal number three, like, or they've gotten to know you pretty well. And they know that you're on the defense. <laughs> Possibly, maybe um, the last guy, the last time you guys spoke, maybe you could have told this person off or maybe they told you off. But now... You know what I <laughs> You know what I just saw right now? Like I just saw like those type of dogs like they it's like they have like a very droopy face and they have these puppy dog eyes. It's like it kind of looks like a beagle but it's not and their face is real droopy and they look sad like that's how this person feels towards you and I feel like the way like this person is is like they thought that they were the shit when you guys broke up or you know or whatever and now it's like they're coming back with their tail in between their legs walking towards you like a puppy like they just they now seem like you were the best thing that has ever happened to them. Or they're coming to realize that. And they're coming to realize like it's not easy to find someone like you, pal number three. It's not easy. And I just see this person very regretful. Five of Cups and the Star in Reverse. This person has a lot of inner child healing to do. Or this person just has a lot of healing to do in general. This person feels really like lost. We have Nine of Cups, the Emperor. Yeah, they see you like you're in your power. I also feel like possibly, oh, that's why the Seven of Swords, wait, hold on. Spirit, why is the Seven of Swords here for pile number three? Why is the Seven of Swords here for pile number three? Two of Swords, Ten of Cups, Page of Wands. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel like for a lot of you guys, if especially if this is an ex, I or this is a friend or whatever, I feel like they thought the grass was greener on the other side. And it it's like they deluded themselves. Like they did this to themselves. Like they thought that they were going to be this Ten of Cups without you. And behind your back, they try to talk to somebody else or they try to make new friends or whatever the case may be. They try to replace you. Essentially, they try to replace you. But it didn't work out. And it's like when they... You know what's weird? I feel like for some of you guys, not all of you guys, but... I feel like this person talks to someone and then it's like while they're talking to them, it's like they're envisioning that it's you or they try to act like it's you 
it's weird. I don't know what this is, but that's what I'm seeing. I feel like this person promised a lot of things to you, especially if this is an ex, like, oh, we're going to get married one day or we're going to get our own place or we're going to move in or yeah, of course I do love you or I have feelings for you. Nobody could top you, you know, you're the best that I'm ever going to get or so they made you feel like you were the end all be all, you know, and it's like this person promises a lot, but they don't put how do you say it um i don't know how to describe it it's like they don't put the where their money where their mouth is I, I guess that's how you say it it's like they don't put the effort they say all this stuff but then when it comes to like putting effort they don't do it one more Damn, you're done. So now you guys are waiting for this person. The Empress flew out. <sighs> Empress, Four of Cups, Four of Swords, Ten of Swords. Damn, pile number three. Like, you're in your bad bitch era. Like. <laughs> this person's so afraid to come towards you they want to talk to you i don't care if it's been five six seven months this person wants to talk to you <laughs> like they feel like damn i fucked up like we should have just worked it out or you know whatever they're like damn i fucked up because whoever they talk to, they're not that. <laughs> this is how they feel. You look at this face expression with the four of cups right here. It's like whoever they talk to, they think of you. You're the empress. And this person's like, Ugh. this person is not the empress. You're coming off as the empress, whether you're a female or male, whatever. They're like, this person's not pal number three. They're like, ugh, like, <laughs> they're so annoyed, like, not annoyed, maybe they are annoyed, but they're, like, so unsatisfied by the people they're talking to, and they just want to talk to you, like, and then with the Ten of Swords right here, it's like, I see them, like, scrolling on social media, or whatever, or maybe they have pictures of you still, or, Maybe you're a big influencer on social media or it's like you're online some way, somehow. And they're viewing your posts and whatever and they want to come towards you, but they feel like they can't. And they feel like if they were to reach out, I'm seeing the Queen of Swords in my mind's eye. They feel like they're going to get bitched out by you. Like they feel like they're going to get, you guys are going to argue. Nine of Pentacles, the world. Yeah, okay, messages are repeating. So, yeah, you're in this energy. This is you, pile number three. They see you like you're moving on or you've moved on. Some of you guys are going on a trip very soon and either, I'm, I'm hearing, I don't know, Puerto Rico? Are you guys, some of you guys could be Puerto Rican or going to Hawaii, Bahamas. I'm seeing somewhere tropical or to california or texas or florida or yeah brazil bali okay i just see like some of you guys going somewhere like traveling and i'm just seeing like you not talking to this person of course, but they I see you going on some sort of trip and I see you posting pictures. And I see this person looking at your social media and looking looking at the trip that you went on and seeing you very very happy and it, that makes them more sad because they're missing you. 
if they're in a relationship right now, they want to get the hell out of that relationship and they want to come back towards you because this person that they're with, they're, it's, they're pissing them off. Like, they don't want to be with the person that they're with. But then again, they don't want to be alone. And for most of you guys, this person's single and they just want to talk to you, but they're afraid to come towards you. Man, I think I got to pull oracles too. Damn, pile number three. You, you guys, don't tell the other piles, but you guys got the most cards. Spirit, how does the people, the people that selected pile number three, I'm not taking reversals, how does the people from their past currently view them? I feel like the regret card may come out. We have happiness. How does the people from their past currently view them? How does the people from their past, they're thinking about all like the happy memories See, then I, <laughs> I, I'm telling you guys, I can't make this up. I told you this card was going to come out. Y'all can't say that I'm not psychic. Like, <laughs> I don't give a hell who doesn't believe in psychic abilities or whatever. This shit's real, bro. Like, clarify the acceptance card spirit. Person's in deep regret, indecision. This person's in like in denial. Hold on, why is this indecision card here? Hold on, why is this indecision card here? Oh, okay. This person doesn't know how to come towards you. That's what it is. This person doesn't know how to approach you. They're trying to figure out how to approach you. Yeah, this person has a lot of doubt. Look at that back of the deck. We have failure and grief. This person has a lot of doubt and they don't know how to come towards you. And they're very sad and they miss you. And yeah. I feel like a lot of you guys have reached this acceptance stage, especially if this is a breakup or a loss of a friend or whatever. You guys have accepted that, you know, it is what it is and you moved on or you're in the process of moving on and they're thinking of all the happy memories and they're seeing you also like very happy and they want to come towards you, especially with this love card. This is an X for most of you guys, but they don't know how to come towards you. They don't know how to talk to you. They don't know what to say because they feel like you're gonna snap the fuck off on them they feel like you're gonna block them and they're just like how do i come towards pile number three like i don't know how and at the same time they're also waiting for you to come towards them but they kind of figured already like that's not gonna happen and they know the ball is in their court and yeah so that's all I got for you, pal number three. This person really wants to talk to you. They want to change the situation. But it, with this doubt card, they doubt that you guys are going to go. Everything's going to go back to how it was because they see you as like this queen of swords energy. Like they see you like very standoffish. But yeah, that's all I got for you, pal number three. I hope this reading gave you clarity. If you would like a personal reading from me, use my promo code C-E-L-I-N-A to get $20 to $40 off your reading. My website is divinefeminine777.com. Um, link is in my description. Comment how this resonated for you. Um, and yeah, follow me on TikTok, blue.dream333. Follow me on Instagram, Blue Dream 333. Follow me on Twitter, Blue Dream 444. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope this reading resonated. And until the next video, bye.